Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, welcome back. Uh, I need to apologize. The first segment of this is about um, me getting the new boarding ladder and the audio is horrible. Um, I mean, you can still make out what I'm saying, but it sounds like I'm talking in an empty shoebox or something. I'm not sure what happened. I uh, tried actually using a, uh, uh, an off-camera mic, one that I'm actually the same mic that I'm using now. Uh, but on the little action camera, for some reason, it gave really horrible audio, and I didn't realize that until long after I uh, had shot the video. Um, so my apologies for that, but after that first segment, then the, the audio certainly gets a bit better. Um, but yeah, thanks very much, and we'll see you again at the end of the episode. Here on Pearl, there's a couple of different ways to get onto the boat. When I purchased her, there was a stern ladder, this uh, metal one down here. Uh, it unfolds and it hangs off from the stern and it's really good for getting on and off the boat uh, when you're hoisting the dinghy up. This allows you to put the, the dinghy right below, uh, get everything hooked on, and then you can climb on and aboard and then put the ladder away and hoist the, the dinghy up. It's unfortunately not a great everyday kind of ladder because you do have to climb over the stern rails here in order to do that it's, it's not the most accessible um, also it does not go far deep enough uh, if i ever wanted to use it as a swim ladder i did have it uh, taken to a welding shop and had it beefed up and a little bit extended to make it a little bit more convenient but still as a boarding ladder uh sorry for a swim ladder it would not work whatsoever um, there's also a little plastic step that came with the boat which just uh easily hooks onto the side and that's what I'm currently using for getting uh, on and off the, the dinghy. You can see this little plastic step here. Uh, but again, that uh, will not work for um, a swim ladder so I wouldn't be able to do anything there if I was in the water. So I have two things. One is still on order. It is an emergency ladder that will actually be clipped here onto the stern and if I were to accidentally fall off and be able to swim back to the boat then I would be able to uh, pull on a line and a rope ladder would come down and then I would be able to get myself back up onto the boat Which would be kind of important, but for regular day-to-day -day, um, I wanted something a little bit nicer than all of that and so in this big white box here is a brand new Custom-made boarding ladder. It is a uh, folding ladder So when it is in the folded position, but on it it still works as a great boarding ladder to come on and off the dinghy and then when unfolded, several steps will be below the water line, making it super easy to get in and out of the boat when I'm out swimming, which is ideal for where I want to go. So, now that I've got, uh, just came in today, I haven't even looked at it yet. Let's, uh, let's have a look. That is beautiful. <sighs> Excellent. So it definitely looks like I need to uh, finish the wood, but that'll be easy enough. It's already sanded. And there we go. So nice wide steps, a little bit of indentations to make it easy while boarding, and then unfolded. The first two steps are going to be then below the water line. So I had to go into town today just to do some banking and a couple of little errands. And as I got to the dinghy dock, there were a couple of guys uh, standing there and they chatted me up about uh, the area because it turns out there were tourists and they asked about living on a boat and the costs and things like that. Um, they were uh, drinking, they had a couple of beers and asked if I wanted one and I declined because I had to get going and things like that. I came back to the dinghy about an hour later, hopped in and then uh, went 
uh, back here to Lost Pearl. And as I was getting out of the dinghy, I noticed there was a beer sitting there for me. The guys had uh, left me a beer and they were from Denver, Colorado. And coincidentally, the beer is called 1045 to Denver. So uh, cheers to all the people of Denver. Thank you very much for all the hospitality and uh, cheers. Mm. Oh, that's good too. It's by Epic Brewing. It's a, actually a local beer uh, made right here on Shelter Island, I believe. Oh, I gotta get more people to buy me a beer. That's great. Here on the door leading to the V-Birth, there was this um, window here with some etched glass in it. Now, I'm sure the astute ones of you have noticed in uh, some of the intros for the past episodes, the window is actually gone. Um, it was broken. There was a whole chunk missing out of the bottom. And what I had done is I have a new one made. So this is going to be exciting. I'll be able to uh, put this in today. I made sure the opposite side of the door, this had some really, uh, uh, I don't know if you remember, there was a lot of wood here that still needed to be refinished. I did that yesterday and uh, let it dry out in the sun so it's all ready to uh, go today so I can put this in. Now, because this is not original from the boat at all, there was, uh, this was a custom job done by some previous owner in the distant past. I don't know. I know that from pictures of this boat from the original owner, it was not on the boat and I don't think he did it. So it was some, uh, I think there were five owners before me, maybe four. And so I have no idea who actually uh, created it in the first place. So what I did in order to try to recreate it, because I really liked the design, was I took a picture of it and then I imported the picture into Photoshop. And then in Photoshop, I took a line drawing that I got off the web for this uh, boat, the Harden 45, superimposed the two, and then uh, using Photoshop kind of drew in the remaining parts of the boat that were missing. And then went up to a place called Pat's Glass Shop, uh, which is actually only a few miles away. And they specialize in etched glass as well as stained glass. And I talked with the artist there. And he was able to take um, the JPEG of the drawing that I had done and he used his imagination on the, uh, the water that was down below to uh, create the final glass. So uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really hoping it doesn't break because, uh, well, the boat right now is listing slightly to port because the, uh, the old engine is on the port side of the boat. So it does swing a bit and I really hope it doesn't slam too hard and break this one as well. But yeah, let's open it up and see what we got. going to look beautiful in there a really really nice accent um before everything got done i went ahead and uh, uh polished the uh the brass window frame itself and uh yeah now it's time to install it woohoo lucky me the brass I decided to polish the one down here and I polished so much that I actually started to wear off because of course it's not solid brass or anything I started to wear off the finish so I had to order a new one and see what we got in the package Thanks very much for watching the episode. I really appreciate it. I do enjoy making them, though they are a bit of work, but it's a great way for me to document my progress so far. 
The last couple of weeks have been a little bit slower uh, boat project wise simply because I'm waiting for that new engine to arrive and the new sails should be in here next week as well. They just got packaged up. Um, so it's given me a chance to get a little bit more caught up on videos and I'm planning to do an episode as well on kind of a, a day in the life just so you can see that I uh, some of the other things that I do that are not just boat projects. Um, but yeah, thanks again and we'll see you soon. Within.